How's it going everybody? I have a question for all of you today that I want to try and solve in this video. First, I need you all to do a little bit of a uh, role playing. I want you all to imagine that you have nothing to do with the Yu-Gi-Oh series at all. You don't own any of the cards, you don't own any of the memorabilia, anything. So now what happens is you start watching the anime series, you watch a couple episodes and you think, I like what I'm seeing. I want to get involved in this Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game. And what I really want to do is go to a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, a YCS. Why not? So now we've established our goal, the question becomes, what do I go out and buy to go achieve my goal of being the very best like no one ever was? Hmm. This is the question that I was thinking about the other day, because though there are like starter things in Yu-Gi-Oh, there isn't a true ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh starter box, starter pack kind of thing. So I want to imagine for a second that Konami has come and approached me and said, we want you to create the ultimate starter box for people that truly want to get everything you actually really do need to get yourself started in the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game. We have loads of props down here, uh, be excited. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down into three tiers, a tier one package, a tier two package and a tier three package. The tier one package, let's just call it the Slifer Red starter pack. Why not? What would I do for this tier? This is the like the ultra beginner one. Well, let's just use what we've already got at the moment. Typical starter decks. When you buy a starter deck, you get three things. You get a booklet, which tells you all the rules of the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. That is important. I would also give a link to some very helpful videos online, like the Idiot's Guide to Summoning and things like that. I don't know, that's just an example. A little tiny book like that can't actually cover everything, so this is a little flow of it. The second thing you get is a deck mat, which is always up to date. This one has the extra monster zones because it's a nice modern deck. And what I quite like, they give you little tips and tricks of the deck that they've given you. And the most important thing, of course, is they give you a deck, which comes with a boss monster. Typically, you need to buy three of these starter decks to make it more consistent and good. What this normally would cost you, I think is about 12 pounds. If you want to times it by three, cause you need to buy three, it's gonna cost you about 36 pounds to be technical. You'll have three decks. That is your initial starter deck. So let's just call that 12 pounds. There's your Slifer Red starter edition. You'll notice loads of flaws in this because we don't have card sleeves. You need card sleeves. Some of these cards might require dice tokens, things like that, not including that. So these are other little extra things we need to get. So. Let's move on to uh, the second tier, shall we? I've only just recently heard about this and I don't actually have one to show, but they're called deluxe editions. You can get certain deluxe editions for like certain sets and things. So I have an example of one that I found online. I think they cost roughly between 30 and 40 pounds, roughly. You guys will need to tell me about this because I'm not too sure. So the one that I have found right here is the Judgment of Light Deluxe Edition. What comes in this box is nine Judgment of Light and Limited Edition booster packs, one pack of 50 card sleeves, two ultra rare versions of common or rare cards from the Judgment of Light, one of two super rare preview cards from Shadow Spectres, and a beginner's guide. Now this is almost a really good tier two starter pack basically because it comes with card sleeves and you need card sleeves because you don't want the people you're playing with their grubby little hands, putting their hands all over your cards, ruining their mint conditionness, completely ruining it, you don't want that. The fact that the box as well comes with loads of booster packs is a really good plus, but it doesn't come with a deck that you can use. And even if it did come with a deck, it wouldn't be a deck that I could go out now and take to a tournament. So that is the problem I have with this tier two raw yellow edition starter pack. So then, now let's move on to tier three, the obelisk blue ultimate starter pack and or box, whatever I've called this video, I'm not too sure. Right, how about we start creating it, shall we? First of all, we need to put it all inside of something. So we have the unofficial Yu-Gi-Oh! start box. Definitely not a recommissioned Lutaku box. Definitely not. <laughs> At the moment, if we look inside, there is nothing. So what is the most important thing we're gonna need to get us started? Why, of course, it is a competitive meta deck. So what we have done is we have put together one of the current meta decks that are happening at this time. We've put it all together and we've created one. We're gonna put that inside of the box. But before we do, I think it'd be quite important to have some variety. So what we have done is not only have we got one competitive deck, 
We have three others, so we have a nice variety. We're also going to throw in a deck box, because you have to have a deck box to keep all your cards in. Of course, we've got all our important extra deck monsters in there as well. So yeah, we have four competitive meta decks. Maybe one of them's an anti-meta deck, so you can pick your playstyle, whatever you kind of fancy. That's us to start with then. Let's get that in there. Whoops. So now that we have our four meta decks with a deck box to house them all inside, we're also going to throw in some card sleeves for if you want to put your decks into card sleeves. Let's just pretend they're not in card sleeves at the moment. I can't bother to take them all out. So we've got our card sleeves now. Uh, and of course, if you want to trade, it's always nice to have some card sleeves to trade with. So we're getting on our way now. This is looking quite good. So what do I think we need next? Why, I think we need a mat to play all of our cards on. So let's just pick a random mat. That is uh, a nice good one. Let's uh, let's put that in there, shall we? And you know in football how they have like a home kit and an away kit? So how about we have a home mat and a away mat as well? So yeah, we got we got two in there. That's, uh, that's looking quite good. I will admit it is important to know the rules, so we are going to put a little rule book in there. However, I would like you to imagine that this is a big rule book. This is like an encyclopedia size book. This is like the yellow pages, imagine, with all the different types of rules and stuff. Everything you would find online all condensed into a giant book so you can really get the ins and outs. Or just put like a piece of paper with all links to my Idiot's Guide videos. Shameless plug right there. Now, as many people will know, keeping track of your life points is quite important as well. So let's throw in a book, shall we? A nice empty one where we can record our life point scores inside of there. And sometimes working out life points can be a little bit tricky. So let's throw in a calculator as well. This is assuming you don't have a phone. You shouldn't assume that people have phones. So let's just throw in a calculator. Why not? And we need a pen. Uh, believe it or not, this little samurai looking sword is uh, actually a pen. So uh, we might as well throw in a little pizzazz, shall we? Let's pretend this is Six Samurai Iru Sword. So we've got a pen in there as well. Now keep in mind in Yu-Gi-Oh, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards require external things in order to be used. For example, cards that require counters, you need to have counters. So let's throw in a bunch of different counters of different colors, just in case you need to affect either side of the field. And then you also need some dice. Typically dice are normally just one to six. So we definitely need to include a one to six dice inside of there. But just in case, let's throw in a 20 sided die just in case. I don't know how often you see that. And sometimes you might require more than one dice like uh, Barrel Dragon. You could just roll it three times, but let's just throw in a bunch. In fact, let's just put it all in, shall we? So now we're starting to get a really good thing going on here, but you need to get the practice in to sort of understand how to play Yu-Gi-Oh first. So what I'm gonna say, let's throw in an iPhone, shall we? With Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Links downloaded. So this is perfect. Now we have Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Links. People can play, they can get used to it. There's an update on that, so let's get your phone in there. And that could also have a life point calculator on there as well. So yeah, this is, uh, this is getting heavy now. But hang on a minute. There are also speed dueling tournaments now at Yu-Gi-Oh! YCS's. So I think it'd be quite important to include a Yu-Gi-Oh! speed duel starter thing inside of here. So how about we include a speed dueling mat inside of there. A variety of meta speed dueling starter decks and things because it's actually quite easy to get into that. And let's throw in a box of booster packs as well just to sort of get you started if you want to mix it up a little bit. Pretty perfect. Oh, I almost forgot as well. Sometimes you need a coin. So uh, we have a coin as well with heads and tails on. This is really starting to come together. Now I do remember that Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution is coming out on the Nintendo Switch. So I think we should throw a Nintendo Switch with Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution in there as well. I mean, it makes sense, right? But hang on a minute. There's something I really am forgetting. When you play Yu-Gi-Oh! One of the biggest things about Yu-Gi-Oh! is trading. So you need to throw a, a Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card binder inside of there. And I think it'd be important to get people started with just a couple little shinies and stuff. So let's throw some in. Most important cards, I think, every duelist should have one copy of each of the Egyptian gods as well. So as long as they're in there, I think if we give them a binder with the Egyptian gods, that should be perfect. That is getting very full now. But you know what else people should have? People should have one copy of each of the original ace monsters for all of the main characters as well because you want those really don't you you want to be a, a proper Yu-Gi-Oh player who, who doesn't have all of the ace monsters but we're still not done because there is actually such thing as too much of the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game so you want some variety to sort of spice it up 
So how about we throw in a Yu-Gi-Oh! Top Trumps pack. So uh, you can sort of play with your friends when you're on the coach or something, you're going somewhere. Let's throw in a Yu-Gi-Oh! Completed sticker book as well. Because why not? And let's throw in a Yu-Gi-Oh! Dungeon Dice Monsters board game. Video coming out on that soon. So now it's starting to look really good. And there is one more thing I would really like to add to this, but I don't actually uh, have it. Uh, I would put in a Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Disc in here. Just, just to have. Just put a dual disc in there, and I think that's absolutely perfect. Oh, and how about two pop figures as well? Seto Kaiba and Dark Magician Girl. Why not? So, here is the list of all the things that I propose we include inside of the Ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh! Starter Box. Here is the price down below. <coughs> okay, there you go. Get that out of there. So, yeah, that is... Uh... Ooh. There you go. There is the uh, Ultimate... Yu-Gi-Oh! starter box to get you started. We will sell this at our local stores so everybody can get the true ultimate starter pack together. Maybe you can answer some questions about what kind of meta deck you would like. Give them a list of things and they could include them all in. I do wonder how much that would really cost. Guys, this video was a little bit of fun, if I'm honest with you. There is some seriousness though in what I was saying there because I do think there should be kind of a ultimate starter pack. Maybe one exists and I just wasn't able to find it, but I do think they should offer something for new or like have a bit of experience in the Yu-Gi-Oh game but they want something that they can really get started because otherwise you have to hunt down all these individual cards to try and create uh, what is essentially a meta deck. It is a little bit like net decking really because you're just being given a deck but it'd get you started really, it'd give you a competitive start to playing Yu-Gi-Oh and I do think you could make like a fun little box like it's got all mesh and it's got all little things inside like honestly I think it should come with like dice uh, some counters, a little Millennium Coin thing like the one we uh, put inside of here and just little bits and pieces like that like the card sleeves, a couple decks, a deck box and a, an actual deck mat. Maybe they could sell like individual mats that you don't get at tournaments and things like that. I know a lot of YouTubers and stuff sell them as well so I don't know you could do like theme ones like that. But yeah guys let me know what you all thought of this video in the comments section below. If you were to create your own Ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh! Starter Pack let me know what you would include in it in the comments section below. What did you think of mine? I'm sorry it got a little bit silly towards the end, throwing in switches and phones. My phone is in there, by the way, and I have to tidy all that up now. I've got to put it all back nice and neat. But uh, yeah, if I was missing anything as well, have I missed anything out of the Ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh! Starter Pack that I really should have? Let me know in the comments section below. Oh yeah, hand, hand sanitizer and deodorant. We should have put hand sanitizer and deodorant in there because you need to smell nice at Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments now, of course. Of course. Guys, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. Catch you later.